Hey, this is Carlos from Gamer Guys and Gals, and this is a review for the Fisherman from Fishing Planet LLC and Big Ben uh, Publishing Company. This game is, uh, I have to say, probably the most realistic fishing game out that I've ever played. Uh, there is 143 different species of fish. There's 19 locations, like all over the world. And you have to actually acquire licenses to like uh, go to these places, fishing license. You play with real people as you see here. You can even get like uh, things to put a pole down on the ground. There's just so much uh, to be done on this game. It can get a little crowded if you do these public games. And you don't uh, like, you, but you can play a ga play game by yourself. Some of these areas get crowded and you can't just walk up to anywhere and uh, fish. You have to fish in certain spots. There's all kinds of different outfits you can get, as you see here, but you have to use uh, real money or play the game a whole lot to get these. There's a ton of different ones, but, said, but as you notice, everybody looks the same right now because nobody can afford this stuff yet unless you spend real money. But I'm not going to knock uh, microtransactions. A lot of people do. To me, they keep games alive, and there's a place for them. Most of the time when you hear people mock, uh, complain about them, it's usually people that are cheap and don't really support games to begin with. And uh, I see, as you can see here, crowded, tons of people. But at least you know there's a lot of people playing it. You can play in tournaments, like real-life online tournaments with people. But right now, I'm just trying to... Uh, do little missions to level up. We level up and unlock new things. And uh, I'm sorry that the, there's not the best highlights of like boats and everything, but you can buy boats. But the game messed the uh, Xbox deleted my video files, so I had to pretty much start over from scratch. And I didn't feel like uh, going all the way through it again. I will say the customization for your character is kind of weak. As you can see here, yeah, you can't fish anywhere you want to. Like right here in real life, I could walk up to that bank and fish, but on here, it has to be cleared out. Like right there, that seems clear enough to fish for me, but you have to have dirt, I guess. But uh, you can pick which side of the lake you want to go. Right here shows all the poles, the reels, the lures, the live bait. There's over a thousand different tackles. So, like, it's so realistic. You're going to be going through tons of stuff and purchasing tons of stuff on here to fish. Because every fish has different... Right here, I'm buying a fishing license for another country. Which is kind of crazy. I never thought I would see something this realistic in a game. This is definitely the most realistic uh, fishing game ever. And, um... Uh, you're going to have to learn what fish like and... See, look, here's the map. You can go all over the world. But you're going to have to learn what fish like, what time of the day, everything. It's it's so realistic. I I think they nailed it. They nailed the real, realism. I can't even talk. You know what I'm saying? Of fishing. They got everything here. I just don't think that they nailed the actual fun of fishing yet. Maybe with an update or two, but sometimes it just doesn't seem... Here's showing all the different fish at this lake and how to catch them. But I don't think they nailed the fun of fishing. Like, it doesn't really seem like the battles and everything are there. Like, Dovetail... I'm battling here a little bit, but it just doesn't feel the same. Like, Dovetail it had better fishing mechanics. But I really do believe that this game is going to improve on that. Because of all the little things that they've nailed... It makes me have a lot of faith in this game. This to me that uh, everything I wanted in a fishing game is here, except for some of the fishing mechanics. Look at this carp I just reeled in. But it see it really didn't give me all that much of a fight, and it didn't feel like a fight. So I hopefully they do some updates on that because this game is perfect everywhere else. It's the game we've been waiting for for fishing. Um, yeah, look at that. Here's people all around me. 
everybody just everybody wants to fish in the same spots. I guess maybe because there's you can't just fish where you want to. So they all pile up. But uh, I'm going to give this game a pretty good rating. I'm giving it an 8. This is the fishing game you've been waiting for. The pros is so many options. Lures, poles, fish, places to fish. Look, you can see a guy's pole fishing over me right now. But yeah, there's everything is there. The cons, sometimes the fishing aspect of it doesn't feel like real fishing. Like sometimes you're spinning your hand, but the reel isn't turning. It's probably just early bugs. It's probably just early things. I know it's going to improve. Definitely keep an eye out on this game. If you're a fishing game fan, definitely give this a try. This game is really, really fun and really realistic. It's going to be fun to play with your friends. It's going to be fun to play alone. I was playing this and I just lost track of time. You're going to be like playing this for hours and hours. So 8 out of 10. Definitely check this out if you're a fishing game fan. Just check it out, period. It's a lot of fun. Look at that channel cat. But uh, 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. As always, follow us on all the social medias at Gamer Guys and Gals. And let us know if, if you purchased this, what you thought. Have a good day, guys. This is the strangest story I have ever heard Take a seat, grab a drink and